I'm Claire. And I'm Mark. We're at Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. Today, we're gonna to talk about a common injury that pops up this time of year when people are out and about enjoying the lovely fall weather, exploring pumpkin patches, and doing some apple picking, and that is IT band pain. IT band pain can manifest either at the outside of the hip, the outside of the knee, both, or anywhere in between. Your IT band, where it inserts, at the outside or lateral portion of the knee, as well as where it originates at the outside of the hip connected to your TFL, your tensor fascia lata, a tiny little muscle that assists your glutes or your butt muscles in function of the hip. Common causes of IT band pain or irritation include tightness of your hip and your glutes, weakness of your glutes that would cause an increase of activity of your TFL to overwork and compensate, and tightness of your lower back that would cause increased tightness, therefore, in your glutes, your TFL, and sometimes your hamstrings. Another often overlooked cause of IT band pain and irritation is poor knee control, meaning that the IT band gets stretched or overworked when your knee is not in an optimal position. Remember, your knee is often an angry messenger and only does what your ankle and your hip allow it to. So again, with knee positioning, we revert back to what's going on with the hip that might be irritating that lower portion of your IT band dead at the outside of the knee. All right, as you can see when she's squatting, sometimes you can have a medial knee deviation on one side that's putting a lot of stress on that lateral head of the uh, glute medius. And that's going to have a lot of pressure on the side of the kneecap where the insertion actually happens or the uh, TFL. Here we can see a proper lunge without any medial knee dive on this patient here, which is Claire. Now we're going to see the left side, and we're getting that medial knee dive that puts a lot of stress on that IT band and close to the hip here, we're not controlling it well. And so what happens is all the strain either goes to here or, like you said, anywhere in between. So cueing the knees out position is actually a very good cue, or landing from a jump with the knees out position or a knees in line position of the hip is vital to make sure that the athlete or the patient is doing everything properly. So once we do fix some of the problems with IT band pain, it doesn't come back to haunt you. Go ahead and squat for me, Claire. The knee remains right over the foot in line with the hip. Let's do a lunge. Same thing with the lunge. Everything is in a straight line to the hip and the foot. As we've covered, there's many different factors that can go into IT band pain, but here are some general stretches and exercises that you can try to address some of the issues that we've previously mentioned. Remember, this is not a replacement for an accurate diagnosis and evaluation from a medical professional. However, it's a good place to start if you're just starting to notice some aches and pains that maybe sound familiar as what we described earlier. The first stretch is a modified pigeon pose. So for those of you that are familiar with the yoga position of pigeon, this is a little bit different, but still takes into a lot of the same factors. You're going to use some sort of elevated surface. It does not have to be anything this high. I obviously am super short. This table is tall. And so this table is probably maxing out how long or how high I can do the stretch for. You certainly can use your bed at a gym, a plyo box, or a bench. Any sort of couch, chair works as well. But you're going to get the affected side up onto a surface. I'm gonna bring my leg up here. If this is too much of a stretch in and of by itself, then feel free to pop a pillow or a foam roller underneath that knee. That part's not vital. The important part is that you can comfortably get into this position. For a stretch that hits right at your TFL and your glutes, instead of leaning forward like a traditional pigeon pose, I'm gonna bring my opposite elbow down to my knee to really isolate that stretch right in that glute. This should be a comfortable and feel good stretch. Nothing that reproduces sharp pain or any sort of intense pulling anywhere along that IT band track, including from the outside of your hip all the way down the outside of your thigh and includes the outside of your knee. Holding that stretch for two or three seconds or about as long as it takes to take a breath, come up out of it eight to 10 times. Another great exercise that you can do to really engage those glutes and take some of the pressure off of your TFL is a single leg bridge hold. So here I am on a floor, bed, or any other stable surface, feet about hip worth apart. My knees are in track with my ankles and my hips. 
I'm gonna press through my heels, lift my hips up off the ground, and then I'm going to pick up one leg without letting the opposite hip drop. So what I don't wanna see is this. What I do wanna see is this. This exercise engages all of your core musculature in your lower back and your glutes, as well as your hamstrings to stabilize and activates those muscles to take the pressure off of that TFL, which we already know, as previously explained, is attached to that IT band. Eight to 10 of these, each side. Another great and easy stretch that doesn't require any extra equipment is an IT band stretch in standing. The affected side is going to go behind you, and you're gonna go into a nice tall lunge position. The affected side, that hip moves out, kinda like you got some attitude, and the affected side arm comes up overhead and stretches like this. As you push that hip away from center or midline, you should feel a nice easy stretch like that. You can reproduce the same stretch without your arm up overhead if you have any sort of lower back tightness and or shoulder or neck issues as well. Same idea as before with the stretches, two to three second hold, about the length of a breath, eight to 10, coming in and out of that stretch to really get some increased blood flow to an area and help those muscles relax. Another very common cause of IT band pain, especially in runners, is a lack of hip extension. Again, causing increased workload and compensation through the glutes and that TFL. Especially with runners, if we notice on a gait analysis, either video, slow motion, or otherwise, if the affected side has less stride length as you're going behind, then that often is a very easy indicator of what's causing that IT band pain. A great stretch that can affect that, and is also a great warm up for runners, is a Bulgarian split squat stretch or a chair stretch. I'm gonna place my knee on any sort of surface that has a back to it. So a chair, a couch, and what I'm going to ensure is that if I draw a line straight down from my hip to the ground, my knee is actually behind that line. So my knee is behind that hip. There's plenty of structures that cross the front of that hip, including one of your quads and your hip flexors. And so we wanna ensure that we're hitting all of those. The stretch then is a very comfortable lunge forward by keeping that lower back arched and that chest up. Same idea as the stretches before, two to three seconds, the length of a breath, and you're coming in and out of that stretch. So bring that stretch onto that hip flexor and relax out of it. Lastly, a great exercise that helps strengthen the entire chain on that leg to ensure that IT band pain doesn't return is a single leg step down with the emphasis on the negative or the eccentric contraction. Using a stair or a box, bottom stair please for safety, the affected side leg comes towards the edge of the stair. You can hold on, no extra points for balance. As I slowly lower myself down, I'm really paying attention to keeping that knee not in line with my toes, but in line with what my hip and what my ankle are doing. Toeing out is an entirely different issue and can have its own video here later. But if that's a more comfortable position for you, as long as your knee is tracking over your ankle, then it's typically okay. So a step down will look like this. I'm also really keeping care to ensure that my hips are staying level and I'm not dropping like that. You can tell even from the increased pressure on the outside of my hip, when I drop my unaffected side, that lets the increased pressure coming out on this side and can re-aggravate or reproduce that IT band pain. As we've covered, IT band pain is often multi-dimensional and can have several different factors in what's causing it and what continues to aggravate it. Make sure you give our five exercises a try, see how they work, make sure to stretch into resistance, but no pain, no sharp pain, and make sure you're very gradual. These exercises and stretches are a great place to start, but if you feel like you're not making any progress, we're more than happy to see you here in the clinic. So please check out our website for more information at www.coreomaha.com, and of course, our Facebook and our Instagram pages. This is who we are. This is what we do. We're Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance.